Arkansas 42, Ole Miss 27. That score was not indicative of the beatdown that this game actually was. It's just not even. Arkansas went up 35-6 to at the half and then scored the next touchdown to go up 42 to 6 in this game. And if you weren't paying attention to it, if you didn't have it on one of your screens, then you would have missed out on the fact that you get the team stats here. Ole Miss outgained Arkansas by 200 yards. Lane Kiffin's offense put 700 yards on the field. They ran for 463 against Arkansas. They had 12 penalties for 116 yards. They had three turnovers. It Things did not go well. I will say, uh, <laughs> Scotty Johnson, he said the game where Lane decided he was leaving. I don't necessarily know about that. I, I know this. He doesn't like the cold, so the fact that they actually did anything at all was uh, at least impressive to me. But, you know, they came back. They scored three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Made it at least, you know, respectable. But, man, this was a debacle uh, in that first half. That first half, uh, let's see. I said uh, Arkansas scored on six of their first eight drives. They led 42-6 to six after the first two plays of the second half. Uh, Ole Miss's first half on offense was that fumble, punt, punt, field goal, missed field goal, field goal, interception. It was a complete disaster. Like, who... I want to know who this Arkansas team is, and I want to know who this Ole Miss team is. Um, I just did. Not being able to finish drives was a little strange, although we've seen it kind of pop its head up ever since the LSU game. Um, this Arkansas team... You know, this bunch last week could do nothing on offense, and I understand the KJ Jefferson played in this game. I get that. But, man, it is the Arkansas defense last week against LSU put on a clinic. And then this week, Ole Miss comes out and puts up 700 yards? Like, wait, again, where is the consistency in this sport? There is none. Georgia is about it. Like, Ohio State... They, they consistently just get W's in whatever manner they have to, but there's no consistency as far as the way that they play. Like, Ole Miss, yeah, you're, they're going to put up yards. I, I guess the consistency is that they're going to put up yards, and sometimes they score and sometimes they don't. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense at all. But this, this was mind-blowing to see the number of yards and the number of points that were put up and by which team. And so, cheers to Arkansas for getting to bowl eligibility in Sam Pittman's third year. That is two straight bowls for the Pittman era. And uh, and I think Arkansas fans were fan, or uh, were fan, uh, were uh, happy about that. Like, they, they seemed very happy. They were chanting Auburn uh, at Lane Kiffin at one point in this game when it got up to 42-6. to six. Uh, they, they were having fun with it. And props to them for doing so. Uh, Scotty jumps in. Got to be a tough life trying to figure out college football. Thank goodness I can just watch. Yeah, it's it's mind-blowing. Like, not every year is like this, but it is certainly it's certainly something. Uh, because this one beats almost anything that I've seen. Last year was a lot of fun, right? And you knew it was going to be a little crazy with, uh, you know, coming out of the COVID year and everything else. This is this another thing. What is happening? happening right now and I I can't wait to see what's going to happen this weekend championship weekend because we're going to have some crazy crazy things go down thanks for listening to winning cures everything make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five star review you can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE and the show is at winning cures be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show <laughs>